In 2002, Delmar College recognized Dr. Eileen Creighton, Dean Emeritus of Arts and Sciences, for her accomplishments and vision by establishing an award in her name, the Dr. Eileen Creighton Award for Teaching Excellence. Her dedication to students in higher education serves as an inspiration to other educators. Among her accomplishments, Dr. Creighton established in the late 1960s some of the first developmental courses in the nation to prepare students for college-level English courses. The educator is also credited with envisioning and establishing the foundation for the college's writing center, now known as the Stone Writing Center. Dr. Creighton's legacy as a master teacher now serves as the benchmark for future Del Mar College faculty members who will receive the Dr. Eileen Creighton Award for Teaching Excellence, an award that honors her commitment to education. I feel very honored. Um, I don't care much in general for awards, but this one matters to me because it's about teaching, which is the thing I'm most focused on, and because it's given by my peers. So I feel very honored, very humbled, and it's special to me because I knew Dr. Creighton. Um, she and I served on a subcommittee in the English department. When I first came, I was a new hire, and I was very nervous about my position on that committee and she gave me some invaluable advice about collegiality and professionalism that I still remember to this day. Longfellow said, give what you have. To someone it may be better than you dare to think. And that's really, in a nutshell, what I try to do. Give what I have. Um, the other part of that quote is it implies that I don't necessarily think I have anything super special to give. I believe that my students, even my developmental students, are my equals in many ways. They excel in areas that I'm no good at. I just happen to be good in an area that they need extra help in. That's the only difference between us. And I, and I try to, I always keep that in mind because it helps me put my ability in perspective and my job in perspective. My job is to help give them what I have, the knowledge, the information, the experience, and the love of language, the belief in what language can do for them, the power of words. When I think about all my years at Del Mar, I think first of the students. I've met some amazing people as students in my classes, doing things that I'm not sure I could do struggling through difficulties and succeeding um, against incredible odds. Students with really interesting hobbies, really interesting jobs, and they, those have taken me outside the classroom to explore things I might not have explored otherwise because of knowing them. Then I also think of the support staff, my colleagues, but also the rest of the support staff at Del Mar. Del Mar, I've known some phenomenal people on the support staff that I don't know that I could have done what I did without their help. Um, and then I also think of the challenges. Every time I've started to get a little jaded, a little bored with what I was doing, another new challenge came along, a new thing, a new subject to teach, a new opportunity, a new approach to teaching. And I've been very grateful to Del Mar for those. I'm not sure I would have had that in a traditional four-year university. One of the things I've learned over the years, maybe just to pass on to 
younger teachers is the importance of taking time for myself outside of teaching, outside of school, to rest and recuperate and regenerate so that I come back fresh to the classroom. That was a very hard lesson for me to learn and it took me many years. Um, but it has really enhanced my teaching, I think, that I always make sure I have that R&R time and then I come back with new energy and new enthusiasm.